Hey guys, welcome back here at the Gambler's Guide. Today, I will show you how to make the popular obi cheese pandisal. Obi cheese pandisal is a Filipino bread roll. So before we start, I'll introduce you all the ingredients that you needed to make or bake the obi cheese pandisal. First, of course, we have flour here. Very important. You can't make bread without flour. Yeast to make your dough rice. We also need margarine, sugar, uh, cheese. Of course, it won't be complete the obi cheese padisa without the cheese. And of course, the obi flavoring because we don't have the real obi. Uh, if you guys have a real obi, then you can cook it that will be more consistent in flavoring or taste and you just add a coloring or like the violet color or the obi one like this and of course you also need some oil uh, usually bakers use shortening but today i'm using oil it's the same thing of course you also need some salt and today because i don't have improver as well so instead i'm using a milk powder just a little bit and a bread crumbs of course when you start molding the dough you need to roll it here before you put it in a baking tray and of course we also need water and that's all the ingredients so i'll show you step by step the proper way or the easiest way so that everyone can follow and everyone can make their own obi cheese pandisal and that's it and before we start of course we need a scale a dose scraper or cutter and this one is spatula we don't have spatula so oh, we use this one instead to mix all the ingredients before we use our hands later so in baking it's very important uh, first whatever bread you try to bake make sure the surround is clean table is clean you wash your hands so should done all that just to make sure our food is safe all right guys we go on the next steps which is mixing the dough so we we'll mix all the ingredients that we need to make the obi cheese pandisal so of course we need a scale and i prepare here uh, two kilo of flour so if you guys it's up to you how big is your dough desire but today i decided to make two kilos so that's 100 percent flour and our next ingredients is the yeast so using the yeast guys it depends where you are right now if you're in the cold area like Alaska I uh, think you need extra yeast for your dough or else you're gonna wait a long time so for me here because the climate here in Queensland is same as in the Philippines so I'm using 7% of this so if you add more it won't harm your health so it's okay if you're on the hot area like maybe Middle East you can put less but for me I'm using it right now about 7% so I'm putting 2 kilo be around 140 grams the next improver uh, uh, only use two percent of the improver it's ingredients so be careful on this one guys or else you can't make your obi cheese pandisal or, or any bread if you put too much salt on it so I'm only using one percent of this so about 20 grams for two kilos and next will 
the sugar the sugar so for two kilo i have 200 grams here of sugar white sugar and the next one will be the oil i'm using uh, five percent of the oil so for two kilo it should be a hundred and the next will be the margarine two percent so for a kilo should be uh, 20 grams but i'm doing two kilos so i double the amount so on this one the I'm only using uh, one percent because this one is very strong so don't put too much so only 20 about 20 grams on this one then of course the water the last ingredients but before I pour the water in the dough I tried to mix it a little bit that later on it will easy for us to mix it by hands when the oil and the margarine already absorb on the flour and now about the water I use 45 percent plus or minus so you I'm putting the water on your dough it depends against where you are or like the room temperature so instead of putting the exact amount of water to maybe put a little bit less so 45% of a kilo is 450 so this is two kilos I mean I should put 900 ml of water but first I'll put around 800 and let's see how it goes then we can add more later if the water is not enough yep. and now all the ingredients is in here in the bowl so we start mixing it now okay now all the ingredients are mixed together now we need to use our hands to needle this until it's fully developed so before you guys start needling this using your hand make sure again wash your hand properly to maintain the cleanliness and now i'm gonna put it here on the table start needling it so this is how you needle your dough until it fully develops if you have a mixer of course it will be easier but today I'll show you the manual for how to make a dough using by hand so at least if you guys don't have mixer uh, you can still make of bread uh, maybe some of you guys thinking that you can't make bread without machine like mixers that is wrong because you can use your hands so because we we'll, we do it manually today it will take maybe 15 to 20 minutes to fully develop all this dough so don't be scared to squash it like this. The harder you squash the dough, the quicker it's gonna get developed. So 
at the moment we're not even close yet so maybe you guys wondering is like how you know if the dough is developed already I'll show you later on but for now as you can see it's easily to tear apart but once it develop later on it will be nice and smooth you can feel it so we just continue needling, needling this one for maybe another 15 minutes and it should be ready now our OB cheese pandi sauce ready uh, how can you tell if your OB cheese pandi sauce dough is ready or any bread it will be really smooth and it won't stick anymore to your hands not like when you start mixing all the ingredients usually it's very sticky but once your dough is ready won't stick anymore as you can see and when you do like this it won't tear apart easily have like an elastic strap so it tells you that your dough is ready so because this one's ready I'll give it like five to ten minute rest before I'm gonna start cutting it and putting the cheese inside and dip it to the breadcrumbs and start probing it before we're gonna bake it in the oven so for now we just covered it with the this bowl that we use so that it won't get dry for about five to ten minutes now this obi cheese pandi saldo is been resting for about 10 minutes and it should be ready for cutting into pieces so cutting of this guy it's up to you how big you decide so for me because it's not for business it's just for eating so I don't even measure I don't even bother measuring it but this one should be around 80 grams its pieces so if this dough is not uh, developed yet it's kind of hard for you to cut it but using the hands or even using by scraper as it will be a little bit sticky but if it's fully developed it's easier for you to cut it as it won't stick on your hands anymore you don't need to use oil or anything Now I finished cutting the dough, so it's time for us to put the cheese inside. Like a filling, so we just cut the cheese like a cube. So it's up for you guys how big you're gonna cut it. But for me, as, as I said earlier, it's not for business, so I cut it a little bit bigger. So just go like this around a little bit then put it in the breadcrumbs and put it in a baking tray so just flat the obi cheese pandi dough a little bit and you just put cheese in the middle and slowly fold 
and seal the dough and give it around and throw it in a bread crumbs and put it in the baking tray and now as you can see we just finished molding our obi cheese pandisao we just give it a good half an hour to rise then it should be ready to put it in the oven ready for bake our obi cheese pandisao is nearly ready to bake I start preheating my oven uh, 180 degrees Celsius it should be rich its temperature in about five more minutes and that's the time we're gonna start loading all this in the oven so our oven is rich its temperature so it's time to start baking our obi cheese pandisao So we will check it back in around 15 minutes. I'm gonna put timer in here. Okay guys, uh, it's been around 18 minutes now. And it's look, the bottom one looks ready for me. So I need to grab this one and uh, maybe two more minutes for the top one. First bake up will be cheese pandisal. Let's see how it looks like inside. Oh, it's really hot. There you go. That's what it looks like for your OB cheese pandisal. So for now what we're gonna do is bake the rest of the OB cheese pandisal and Guys, thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button see you guys until next time if you guys have any more question regarding how to make the obi cheese pandisal just leave your comment below and i will answer you as best as i can to help you out to make your first ever obi cheese pandisal bread once again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.